Building the ultimate day trading and gaming station can be a struggle because technology is constantly changing. So we teamed up with LG and got two of the most epic 49 inch monitors you can possibly imagine to build the best day trading station I have ever had. Now, I've been day trading for 14 years. I'm the founder of Iconic Traders. And before we show you the actual setup that we just built, which is probably my favorite of all time, I wanna give you a brief history from 2005 up to 2019, all the setups I've had over the years. Let's hit it. Yeah. So I made my first trade in 2005. And to be honest, I have no idea what my setup was back then. And apparently, I didn't even think it was cool to post it on Facebook. Turns out, I didn't post a trading setup photo for the next five years. But what I did post a lot of for the next five years was pictures of me partying, apparently, because that's what Facebook was for back then. So here's me drinking in 2005. 2006, drinking. Oh my God, not even one like or comment. Fucking idiot. 2007. I kind of had a thing for 40 ounces because I was a broke college kid. Mind you, I didn't make money for my first three years of trading. Wait, wait, what the fuck is this weird selfie in 07? Ah, evidence. Yes, you see that correctly. That's CNBC in the background. Clearly, there was a trading computer somewhere in this photo. 2008, I was bartending and drinking, still clearly not showing off my trading setup. 2009, still no trading photos, but Lindsay called us out on this sausage party in Costa Rica. Now, in December of 2009, I made $50,000 day trading, and a lot of it was at my mom's house where I was visiting home for Christmas. And then I went out and celebrated by buying this brand new BMW 7 Series that I shipped back to San Diego. 2010, finally, five years later, after my first trade, I post my first trading setup. And would you look at that, wow, Cam, you are pretty freaking impressive. 2011. I bought my first stand-up desk, but I'm looking a little concerned here. 2012, I didn't post a trading setup? Hmm, but I did post this new Maserati that I bought. Wait, no, I found a picture of me trading on this Asus laptop. Yes, I got shit-faced in Mexico and ended up getting kidney stone surgery in Cabo San Lucas. Please kids, hydrate. 2013, it would appear that I broke $400,000 in trading profits. And apparently judging by this photo, I finally figured out that it would be a good idea to maybe post pictures of me trading to market my business instead of me posting pictures of me getting shit-faced. That is one hell of a setup though, am I right? 2014, things started getting real spicy. As you can see here, I made $35,000 in six days. Really going balls deep on the marketing now with this massive six monitor setup. And you could say it worked. I made $170,000 that month between trading and marketing. So I bought a few cars. P.S. Then I decided to throw a Wolf of Wall Street yacht party. Jesus Christ, Cam, you truly are becoming a douchebag. 2015, this is when I really started to discover the true beauty of being able to travel and trade. All I needed was one laptop and one mini Asus monitor. So when I got back home in 2016, I decided to size down a little bit to just a few monitors. Finally in 2017, I said, fuck it. I sold everything I own and went full blown digital nomad and left the USA. Few laptops and a mini Asus monitor, that's all I needed to do the trick. And in 2018, I was like, yo, Facebook is for fucking losers, I think. So I guess I stopped posting there and went balls deep on the gram. And I also decided to attempt to travel with this 27 inch monitor in my suitcase. Yeah, it didn't last too long. 2019. <laughs> 2019, I moved to Bali and I got a home. So I wanted to create the most epic trading setup I've ever had now that I finally settled down, sort of. So thanks to LG, here is the most badass trading setup you have ever seen in your entire life. What's up, icons? Here we are at this ridiculous setup that we have here, thanks to LG. These are the brand new LG 49 inch ultra wide monitors with a resolution of 5120 by 1440 for each monitor. Now, just looking at this, it's pretty crazy because it's almost like looking at one 
big, massive screen. Now, a lot of my old previous setups, like the most ridiculous one I had was six monitors, and I had like six 27-inch monitors, and all in their each individual, individual boxes spaced all over the place, which is kind of annoying to have to look at each individual monitor. This is almost just looking at one big, massive screen. So this is definitely by far the most efficient and probably coolest looking screen setup that I have ever produced, thanks to LG. Uh, they actually initially said, hey, let's send you a monitor and do a video about it. And I said, how would you guys send us two monitors? And we'll stack them on top. And they agreed, and now, now we have this amazing setup. So just to give you a little rundown of what we're kind of using to operate what we have going on here, I have the Razer Blade Pro, last year's model, top of the line. This is the Mercury White Edition, and then of course, it's right after I bought it a month later, they upgraded the graphics card. So that's life, that's technology, which is also an issue with having a day trading setup is because everything updates all the time. So you constantly have to be continually updating, but it's still a great computer. Now there is a limitation with this, which we realized once we tried to set this up. Now I can't run, as far as I know right now with the equipment that I have, I can't run this computer to run both monitors at 5120 by 1440 with the Razer Blade Pro. Because there's only one USB-C port and this is a USB-C monitor and then there's an HDMI port that we plugged in the top and it was running it at a stretched 4K, I believe which was the issue. So that was a big problem. We're like, I wanna run games down here and trading up here. Now, the 2018 MacBook Pro Core i9 runs this thing at full res on both monitors flawlessly because there is four USB-C ports on the MacBook Pro. So it's amazing to use this for a MacBook Pro setup. The limitations of that is there's a lot of trading software that's not actually made for the Mac. So. What we did, which was also a really cool part about this monitor, is that you can split screen each of these monitors. So you can run basically two 27 inch monitors on each one or on all of them if you want at a 2560 by 1440 resolution. So right now on the bottom we have the Razer Blade Pro running full res 5120 by 1440 for my trading charts and setup. Up here on the left screen on the top, we're running at 2560 by 1440, basically a 27 inch monitor in, monitor in QHD, still running from the Razer Blade Pro. I have my Discord chat room set up, some news. And then over here, we're running on my MacBook Pro, basically another 27 inch monitor at 2560 by 1440. Listen to a little Gary V, my Slack group, communicating with my team. So it's a great setup to have for productivity. So for both using a Mac and a PC at the same exact time, whether I want to open up Lightroom, edit some photos on this thing, uh, it's just a really cool and efficient setup that's literally all in your face at one time without having to be all over the place with a bunch of different monitors. So uh, it's a really just, it's just a dope setup. Look at it. This thing is massive and it's just looking, it's like having a big screen TV almost like, what is that, like a 10K resolution? 51, or 1440, 1440 with 5120 in width. So uh, it's pretty amazing. We also have the MacBook blacked out trackpad and keyboard along with the Logitech G900 mouse for a little gaming if I wanna play some Battlefield. Now, right now, the keyboard is connected to the PC, the Razer, because it's plugged in through USB-C. The trackpad is connected to the MacBook Pro up here, and the Logitech mouse is connected to the PC. But if I want to start typing on the MacBook, I just unplug real quick, and then boom, it's going to connect to Bluetooth. Where is it? Show me. Did I already do it? Testing. No, not there. Now, connected. See? And now I can use the, the keyboard for my MacBook if I need to do that. And then you just pop it right back in. Good to go. Hello. Find the hole. Uh, boom, and that's great. Now, one of the coolest things that I just recently purchased is a hinge dock for the MacBook Pro. It has dual USB-C ports on the backside of the monitor. Now, if I want to run both these monitors at, monitors at full res with the hinge dock, all I have to do is plug in my MacBook Pro, which there's two ports at the bottom of this dock, 
uh, that connects to the actual physical MacBook. Now I just pr plug in two USB-C ports in the back of the dock and it automatically displays these monitors on both of these at full res. Now that can be great for if, if you're video editing, photo editing, and whatnot. That's my biggest complaint about this freaking PC is that at HDMI, it's not running the full res on the second monitor. So that's why we are doing it at a 27 inch, 2560 by 1440 up at the top. But anyways, guys, this is probably the coolest setup. Oh, and I almost forgot. How are we actually hooking this up? How is this elevated up there below this one? Now, we're just using the standard base for the LG monitor, uh, which is nice. It's very sleek. It's not in your face. A lot of these monitors would have a huge footprint, like a Dell that I used to have that would come out in front to handle the weight going forward. This just has a very wide base, very sleek, so it's not really taking up a bunch of real estate on your desk. And now in the back, this is just a Vivo $45 mount that I got off of Amazon and had it shipped to Bali, of which it was $45 for the mount, and then I probably paid $150 plus another $50, probably about $200 to get a $45 mount to Bali after taxes, fees, and shipping. But it's a little expensive for me, but if you're in the US, this thing works 100% perfectly. Now, this monitor is like five to 10 pounds over the weight limit rating of the Vivo mount, and it works perfectly. I was like, let's just stretch the limit and see what happens, because we didn't, couldn't find anything else that was made for a massive 49 inch monitor. So we're using a Vivo mount that's mounted above that fits perfectly underneath. My only complaint here is that it covered the iconic sign. I didn't factor that in when I hung up my iconic sign. But other than that, guys, this is by far the coolest and most efficient trading setup that I've ever actually built, thanks to LG and set up and used. Bye. You guys wanna play some games? Let me hope my mic can run better for five minutes. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Sick of working, I'm playing video games. I'm actually playing video games. So, obviously, I don't think these games are definitely, you know, made for running a 5120 by 1440 monitor, but you can set that resolution in the game of Battlefield, and now about this, size will give you actual full res of what you're actually looking at, and then the rest is slightly stretched and distorted. It's not like a massive, you know, I don't notice it. Norbert likes to call himself a competitive gamer, so he complains, but I don't. <laughs> I don't notice it. I just look right here, and I think it looks cool on a full width uh, monitor, so. Maybe if this loads, uh, I might kill some people. But where are they at? Can you guys see the distortion? Mm -hmm. I don't. I'm looking straight forward. Who needs to look sideways when you can look forward? Oh God. All right guys, I think we've come to the conclusion that I'm not very good at gaming. But look at that, that's pretty amazing. That is the 49 inch wide monitor guys. This is the ultimate gaming, day trading, productivity, video editing, whatever the fuck you wanna do with setup that has ever been created. Prove me wrong without making your monitor setup look like some big stupid thing with eight monitors everywhere. This is just two. One big screen. One more song. One last video. So, we are now actually running the MacBook Pro Core i9 full res on both monitors and it runs pretty buttery. Like no, no issues here. Now that's pretty cool. That's what I like to see, razor blade, kind of struggling, like maybe you should put a, a, another USB-C port, follow up on Mac's five-year-old technology of getting rid of everything that everybody bitched about. Now everybody's going USB-C, because Apple's smart, all right? They're innovators, they're making changes. Worth mentioning that it charges your MacBook as well, it's like 90 watt output. That is also another big benefit, all right? I don't need a MacBook charger 
when I come and set my monitor down, or my MacBook here. Okay, you can actually charge it from the LG monitor. Now what I do is actually just plug it into the hinge dock and then it charges it through that as well. But you can, if, if you don't have a hinge dock, you can just set your MacBook down, plug in the USB-C cord from the monitor into the MacBook. You don't need your MacBook charger anymore. You leave it in your backpack so when you go to the cafe, you don't have to unplug your shit from the wall, put it in your backpack, bring it to the cafe, come home from the cafe, pull it out of your backpack, plug it back in, that's not fun, all right? I don't like doing that. Nobody likes doing that. So that's a huge convenience of this monitor as well. And what's kind of crazy, when you're editing photos, you get like a massive view of whatever you want. Whether you want to look at me, or if you want to look at somebody else, or a picture of yourself, because that's what you're editing. But uh, now, there, there, what I would like, is if this was actually one monitor and we could stretch it all the way up there without a bezel. But it does give you a nice big range to look at because it does expand across this whole entire 49 inch monitor, but then you kinda gotta scroll up and down to get your editing done, which can sometimes be annoying. Cause then if you're going to normal mode, you're like, well shit, I'm, just have, I'm editing on a 27 inch monitor. Like what's the big deal? This isn't like cool, really. But if you press plus and go full, fully in, you're ready to rock. But anyways, guys, MacBook Pro runs this thing like a beast. The PC struggles a little bit, but you can also do the split screen running the Mac up here and run the PC fully on bottom and up on top. So that is an amazing setup for multitasking and be able to use both computers at the same time and get a lot of shit done, get some tra trading done, make some money, talk to my team, be just an all around badass entrepreneur day trader. But anyways, guys, that is it for today's video. I loved to know what you thought about this setup. If this is something that you would actually consider getting for yourself, or what you would change about this setup if you were to get it. I'd love to know about what you thought about this in the comments below. But if you like this video, please like, comment, subscribe to the channel, support us, and uh, let's make some money trading. Peace. Shake and bag. You know me. You know me.